Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to continue our series focusing on using Blender as a video editor and I wanted to do a quick video showing how we can use Blender to add images and sounds to a video clip. So what I mean by that is let's say I've got a video clip and I've got an example one right here in this demo folder. This is video I took from my DJI Phantom uh, 4 drone and what you can see here is that I've got this nice video but it's pretty boring. There's no audio, there's no sound, um, there's no text, there's no images. So I want to look at using Blender to maybe add a soundtrack, a voiceover, maybe some text, and maybe even some image overlays to this clip. So to do that, why don't we go ahead and close the video and um, I've just gone ahead and gathered all of my resources in one place. So I've got my video clip, I've got some images that I might want to overlay, and then I've got some, uh, I've got a soundtrack right here, and then I've got another file which is uh, a voiceover that I might want to add, and finally I've got some sound effects, uh, things that might make a, like a popping noise or something like that. So once I've got all these things in one place, I'm going to go ahead and start myself a Blender video file. File. I've already done this and I've configured it appropriately to have uh, mp4 output and an appropriate audio codec as you can kind of see up here in the upper right. If you're unfamiliar with these settings or how I got to this stage, please check out our previous video where we talk about getting started setting up Blender to be used as a video editor. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is add our video. So I'll just come here and click add movie. I'll go to that folder and I'll select the mp4 which was that video we shot with a drone and add it to the strip. Uh, and as you notice, we get the video and the audio. We just showed that there's nothing in this audio track, so I can go ahead and delete this. I'm going to go right click on this and click on uh, where is delete. Here it is, delete and erase strips. Now we've just got the video. Um, the other thing I may want to do right now is let's go ahead and make a 25% size proxy so we don't have to deal with the full HD video and things will hopefully scrub and uh, manipulate a little bit quicker. Again, if you're unfamiliar with what this proxy process is, please check out that previous video where we talk about getting started with Blender where we do cover how to build these proxies, what they are, and uh, other good things like that. Um, Along those lines, let's come up here to the uh, preview window, click on the N key, and instead of looking at the full size, I'm going to want to view a proxy rendered size. You can see it gets a little bit grainier here, but now everything scrubs smoothly, and this is the way we like it. Let me scroll out a little bit and zoom out just so we can see the entire section. Looks like we need a couple more frames. 250 is not going to uh, make it. Let's see how many frames are we going to need to get the entire video. Looks like 871 that is pretty good, so I'll type 871. Okay, so there we go. We've got everything set up quite nicely. So now what I'd like to do is let's add a voiceover. So to do that, it's really simple. Come here to add, and instead of movie, just click on sound. And now let's just select my uh, voiceover.wav file and click add to strip. And here we go. You see that you get the audio um, strip here. Let me show you one neat little trick. If you come here, if you select the audio strip and then click on the strip tab, you can click on this little display waveform and we'll show you what the waveform looks like. So you can easily see that there's a bunch of dead space. Why don't we go ahead and trim that off, this dead air. I'll position my cursor here. I'll click on, I'll make sure I have the audio track selected and then press the K button to cut. And then I can go ahead and delete this dead space here at Whoops, sorry. Uh, why did that not delete? I should have hit delete and then erase strips. There we go. And I'll also go ahead and cut some of this dead air at the end. And I'll move this strip by cl clicking G and moving it to align with the video. And that looks a little bit better now. So now if we play from this location, we should hopefully have the video and the audio voiceover at the same time. And here's a video I shot from my drone while I was sitting on the top of my van on a beautiful day at the beach. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, why don't we keep playing with sound? And you know what? Why don't we add a, a soundtrack, right? Life is always better with the soundtrack. So I'll do the same thing. I'm going to click on Add Sound. I'll come back to that same folder. And I've got this MP3, which I got from the YouTube free audio uh, license free royalty free library. So I'll go ahead and again, add this thing to the strip. And I'll play that exact same trick where I'll select the strip, click on the strip tab, and click on display waveform. And you can see now I've got the voiceover down here on channel 3, and I've got this soundtrack on channel 4. So again, if you play this, and here's a video I shot from my drone while I was sitting on the... You can see that that 
soundtrack is overwhelmingly uh, too loud right now. So we want to change the volume so that I can actually hear the voiceover and the soundtrack is just a nice sort of set of background music. And you can easily do that by, again, clicking on the strip. And right here in volume, let's just drag this down instead of, uh, I don't know, how about point two? There we go. Now if we play this again, hopefully the voiceover is more prominent. And here's a video I shot from my drone while I was sitting on the top of my van on a beautiful day at the beach. There, this is sounding a lot better. So let's go ahead and save this. Control S and let's talk about adding images. All right, so adding imagery or pictures is is almost just as easy. So what I can do is, again, place my marker where I want it to be. Um, I think we, somewhere around here I start mentioning the drone. I'd like to maybe just pop up a picture of a drone here in the upper right corner just so you can see what uh, I'm talking about. So to do that, I'm going to come here and add. And now I'm going to come here to image or sequence. And I'll just go ahead and click on that. And then I'll pick this picture of my DJI Phantom 3 Professional, which is what I'm using to shoot this video. So I'll go ahead and select the JPEG and click add to image strip. Now, here's something that's a little interesting. If you notice, the picture is automatically sized to take up the entire screen. That's not what I want. I actually want it to sort of be almost like a picture in picture. So to do that, this is actually really easy to do. Let me go ahead and click on the image right here, which we see is now on channel five. Okay, now to get it smaller, all I need to do is I'm gonna come up here and say add, and I'm going to add an effect strip and I'm going to now select transform. Now, when I do that, I get the green transform here on channel six, and if I select it by clicking on it, I'll come over here to this side, and now what I want to do is the blend, I want to make sure that this is set to alpha over, and it already is, okay? But what I now want to do is on the, uh, scroll down a little bit here, on the effect strip side, you see down here there's this, tab that says uh, basically scale X and scale Y. If you go ahead and start messing with these by grab dragging, you see we can basically shift the sizing of this. So you can get it to be the appropriate size. I think that looks pretty good. And now you see that it's basically overlaid in a picture in picture sense on top of the video. You can also move the position X and the position Y because right now when it's zero zero, it's just sitting here smack in the middle of the screen, which is a little bit uh, obtrusive. I want it to be off to the side. So I'll start messing with the X. Let me drag this over. So X is increased. Perfect. And let's also increase the Y to move it at the upper right of the screen. There we go, this looks much better. And tell you what, um, if I want this picture to stay longer than right now, it's not very, uh, the duration is, is quite short. You can see that if I run this, while I was sitting on the top of my van on a beach, you can see it just flashes up. That's not quite what I want. So you can come here on the image and just click on this right arrow, uh, the right side arrow, and then click on G, and then I'll just drag this to be however long I'd like it to stay up in the, the picture. So something like that. Um, okay, this is looking pretty good. What might be interesting now is let's actually combine this with some of the uh, adding sound effects that we did earlier. So maybe instead of just having this image just show up out of the blue, I'd like a, a sound effect to accompany it uh, popping into the page. So to do that, again, all we need to do is just start adding a sound. And I'll come here to my pop appear sound that I already got. This is a, a WAV file, which is really just a popping noise. I'll go ahead and click Add. And again, you can see it's now added to channel 7. And I'm going to uh, increase the volume to, to 10 because I really want that pop sound to be prominent. So now let's back up a little ways and listen and see what the, final, what the product looks like now. I shot from my drone while I was sitting on the top of my van on a beautiful day at the beach. And uh, whoop, let's watch out for those uh, electrical wires. All right, so this is looking a lot better. All right, so let's go ahead and maybe I'll make one notice or one mention. If you notice here, this picture of the drone uh, has a white background, but the white background is not transparent, right? All of this is just sitting here and uh, kind of occluding what's going on behind it. 
let me show you down here that I also have this PNG. I've got this arrow that I would like to use to highlight the van so that you can see where the van is once the picture pulls way out and it's uh, it, it's kind of hard to see. This actually is a transparent JPEG. I'll open it up and I know you can't really tell from it by looking at just Windows Photo Editor, but the white uh, is actually transparent. So. I just want to point that out because when we want to now go ahead and uh, insert it into the video, I'll show you how Blender handles that. So I think, let's see. You can see as we fly further and further away, it gets harder and harder to see, so maybe we should try to highlight the van right about now. Okay, so right here, I'd like to insert that arrow, that transparent arrow right here, and use it to call out the location of the van uh, right here in the image. So again, let's play our same trick. I'm going to go ahead and say, add image or sequence, and now I'll select this transparent arrow. And now when I click add to image strip, look at this, you notice that the transparency actually works in this case, which is exactly what we're looking for because I only want the green circle and the green arrow to be part of the picture. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to play that exact same trick I did earlier where I don't want it to take up the entire screen, I want to make it almost look like a picture in picture, so I'll come down here to add effect strip transform and then I will come over here on the strip tab and let's start messing with the scale and let me show you one thing, you can actually, if you don't want to mess with X and Y independently we can just click on the uniform scale then we just have one number to mess with and this thing will scale and keep the aspect ratio the same so that looks pretty good and let me go ahead and move it like that there this looks pretty nice and again let's add our little pop effect sound so we can have a nice sound show up when that arrow pops into the screen and again I will increase the length of this just so you can see it a little nicer so again let's back up and preview this the van right about now and we'll just keep flying higher and further away because the scenery is that looks great the last thing we might want to talk about now is how about adding like captions or text to this uh, scene. So it's a very similar story to how we added the images. We're just going to come here to the add and again let's just come here to text. And now you see that in yellow we get text added on whatever channel has free space. So in this case it's channel number five. So I'll go ahead and select the text object and then when you come over here you can start adding whatever you'd like so maybe I'll add um, how about hello world okay and I can increase the size of this text let's make this a little bit bigger and then again you can kind of see what it looks like down below um, and you can do things like change the color white is kind of boring let's go ahead and make this how about uh, yeah that's a that's a nice kind of reddish orange um, you, we can go ahead and let's scroll a little ways down uh, again you can change the location so maybe if I don't want it right there let me scoot it over and maybe to the top of the screen there you go and uh, let's go ahead and increase the length of it so it stays on the screen for a longer amount of time and finally let's go ahead and again add another sound effect where we're going to have whoops sorry where did that did I miss that oh it, it it for some reason decided to throw that pop appear soundtrack up on channel 9 which is fine I think we can deal with that again let's increase the volume to 10 and let's back up a little ways and just verify that this works is just stunning and it's a beautiful day so with that I think we are pretty good we covered a lot of this let's go ahead and uh, again save the file now and let's go ahead and render this thing just so we can get an idea of what the final video looks like so uh, we're gonna render this and I'll give this a second to render and we'll be back in just a second all right, so here we are. Here's the final rendered video. So let's go ahead and uh, double click this and see what it looks like. And here's a video I shot from my drone while I was sitting on the top of my van on a beautiful day at the beach. And uh, whoop, let's watch out for those uh, electrical wires. But uh, as you can see, as we fly further and further away, it gets harder and harder to see. So maybe we should try to highlight the van right about now. And we'll just keep flying higher and further away because the scenery is just stunning and it's a beautiful day. So, I think this is a great illustration for adding video and text. Alright, and I think this is a great spot to leave it. We covered how to add images, sound, and text to a video clip using Blender. 
I hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, I hope you'll also consider subscribing to the channel. Surprisingly, if you just scroll a little ways down and click on that subscribe button, it really does help me continue making these videos. I hope to have videos in the future concerning uh, other topics in Blender and video editing, and I hope I'll see you at one of those. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye.